Tracking Developing News, Department of Education has been ordered to mandate masks in schools this fall. Rhode Island Council on Elementary and Secondary Education voted last night to order RIDE to reject any school plans not mandating masks. And 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is in studio with more on what was said at the meeting last night. Well, the council directs the Rhode Island Department of Education, but Ride's lawyer says it's not really under their authority to mandate masks. He said that lies with lawmakers. And Governor Dan McKee has so far left it up to each district to make their own decision with hopes that they have masks. Ride says about 20% of the districts whose plans they've received so far make masks optional. Commissioner Angelica Infante Green said she's going to work closely with those districts so that it doesn't escalate into having to reject the plans outright. She said since the council is her Boss, though, she's going to do what she's been ordered, but is facing a potential lawsuit in rejecting plans not mandating masks. She's still looking at what consequences districts would face if their plans are rejected. What I do hope is that, you know, we won't get there, right? That all the plans come in, have a mask policy. You know, we cannot play politics with our kids. And I think that's what we have been doing. And we need to really listen to the experts. And the experts are the CDC. Late last night, Governor McKee's office sent a statement saying in part, quote, while all options remain at the governor's disposal, our team will continue to reach out to the remaining districts, many of which are taking up this issue over the next week. Now, there is federal funding tied to school plans, but the commissioner wouldn't go as far as to say that would be taken away from districts whose plans have been rejected. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. Top story at 6.30, Rhode Island Department of Education has its orders now. Yeah, it must reject any school district's back-to-school plan that does not have a mandate for masks. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is live in studio with what this all means now moving forward. Kate. Well, this decision was made as East Greenwich was voting on their school plans for the fall, and they heard from members of the community prior to the vote. I implore the committee to make a motion to amend this policy with trigger metrics and action plans that more appropriately balance parent choice with reasonable transmission mitigation strategies. Now, East Greenwich did vote to mandate masks at the end of the meeting, but the question this morning is what happens to the districts that already voted for masks to be optional in the classroom? Ride Commissioner Angelica Infante Green said she's risking potential lawsuits by rejecting plans that don't mandate masks because Ride's lawyer said it's not really under their authority to do this. The commissioner said she will be working closely with the 20% of districts whose plans she has received but did not mandate masks. She was asked what happens if she rejects a school's plan. I don't know. This all happened tonight as we were sitting there. I don't know what that looks like, but what I do hope is that, you know, we won't get there, right? That all the plans come in, have a mask policy. School plans are tied to federal funding, so the commissioner is looking at that, but didn't go as far as to say that they would, you know, not give a district mm -hmm. funding because their plan was rejected. Okay. So lots to be determined. Yeah, so what's the mask policy in Providence, the state's largest school district? So it's interesting because this governor hasn't gone as far as mandating masks in every district. He's leaving it up to each district to do that, but since the state has control over Providence public schools, they do have the mask mandate there in the capital city. All right, certainly an evolving situation every day. Kate, thanks for following up with us, and we'll continue to keep you posted throughout the day.